Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Sanmitra Bhomik and today we are going to discuss about Fresnel's Bi-Prism. Fresnel's Bi-Prism. So, in the last lecture we discussed about Young's double slit experiment and we have seen that there is a single source and there is there is a screen with two slits and due to the single source this source this source is emitting some wavelet generating some wave wavelets and these are the primary wavelets and from the primary wavelets the secondary wavelets are coming and this will interfere to create fringes now in this method by the use of fresnel's biprism we are doing the same thing this is an optical device i can say we'll do the same thing it's an optical device to produce two coherent sources now we'll do it in a better manner Let, i'll show you how and also the method we are using here that is division of wave front method by the by refraction i can say it is using division of wave front method and we'll do it in a better manner than w dsc experiment let me show you how first of all let us understand what is a biprism biprism is say i have one prism and i have another prism this is one my one prism this is my other prism and both the bases are joined together this is the biprism and in case of fresnel's biprism there is a condition that this angle there is an angle of prism a that should be 179 degree therefore this will be my half degree and this will be my half degree so half degree and half degree so it will become 179 degree now why so why this angle is so less and why this angle is so large because this is a thin prism that is it is a very thin prism i'll show you the application now this is my prism and let me keep a source here and let me draw a screen now what can i do here this is a source let's say this s now let me draw the ray here at first it will go like this one ray and since this light this is a denser medium and according to snell's law i can say that i am drawing the normal here this will bend towards the this will bend say towards the base or it will the angle will decrease according to snell's, snell's law if this is theta 1 this is theta 2 definitely this angle will decrease okay now now this ang this one will go like this and see this will move unchanged you may ask that why am i not again refracting it you see this one this one and this one this two are i can say this two are actually parallel these two sides are actually parallel i can say okay therefore this will go unchanged also the same way in a similar manner i can write this will go like this somehow like this i am selecting this angle i am selecting this angle in such a manner that it will go parallel there will be in numerous um, numerous rays which will emerge i am just selecting those two rays which will give me a straight line or parallel this parallel Uh, ray okay now let me take at an intermediate place and let's say this angle is, this is 90 degree this will bend towards the base and i can say this will be like this here also let me take another one say at a symmetrical distance this will also now this will also go like this and it will moving like this let me show the arrow for better understanding now 
what can I do here is that see these two see this this one and this one these two are diverging if I can produce them backwards just see here if I can produce them backwards and here also if I can produce them backwards then I can say that this is my source S1 this is my source S2 now they are not meeting at a point they are just being produced backwards so I can say this is my virtual source this S1 and S2 these are my virtual source I think this is clear okay I'm, I'm removing this because of space now I can say these two sources are at a distance say d by 2 and d by 2 respectively from the center line and this distance the source the actual source is kept at a distance a and the screen is kept at a distance b so I can write d that is d as a plus b and here what will happen we will get alternating dark and bright fringes center one will be bright and will get alternating dark and bright fringes okay so this is just the setup to conduct YDSC that is Young's double slit experiment now let me write it write down the formula say fringe width lambda d by d what is d d is a plus b so a plus b by d to lambda so now you can do the numericals very easily already I have shown you in the Young's double slit experiment now in case of interference in case of interference from say YDAC what we have observed that is the fringe width the fringe width that is same or constant that is say lambda into d by d this is what I missed in the last lecture this was important and in this lecture I'm telling you so that's all for this video and if you like our content then please share our video and subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon thank you